Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB foundation level sample paper discussions where we are talking about the tips, tricks and time management related to this examination. So as a part of this particular tutorial, we are continuing ahead with the set C of the chapter one. I think it should be other around chapter one of set C. And we shall be looking forward to cover another uh, few questions from here and uh, look forward to see what best we can capture as we talk about them and pass on as much knowledge as possible with you. So let's get started. The next question we have for today is question number four. And the question number four is talking about which of the following test activities are most likely to involve the application of boundary value analysis and equivalence partitioning. I think it's uh, something very uh, tricky about set C and a lot of tricky questions are appearing back to back. So please be very, very, very attentive in terms of picking up your right answers and pay attention to what exactly they want to know and whether have you read this somewhere in the syllabus in my tutorials or uh, anywhere in this entire series. So most important point, point number one, if you go to chapter four, the chapter four is called as test analysis and design, right? That means these are those techniques which can be used in test analysis and test design. And second important thing is how can test techniques be used in test analysis? Because we know test design techniques because it helps you implement test cases, reduce the number of test cases, but what about test analysis? In the test analysis, we analyze the requirements. But don't forget, there is one more activity which you do as a part of test analysis, which is identifying the test conditions. And we have discussed this already, that sometimes we execute test cases, but sometimes we do execute test condition, where in other words, test conditions are called as test scenarios. That means you can write high-level test cases as one-liner, or you can write the detailed test cases in the test design phase. So it's very important to deep dive in this particular way to conclude that what exactly we are referring to when we say the word test techniques. So if you're not de determining it at the concrete level, that is writing detailed test cases, then also equivalence partition can be very much used if you are executing a test scenario directly and even in the detailed steps. Right. So equivalence partition, boundary value analysis, these are the techniques which can be used at the scenario level and the test technique at the test, test case level as well. So I think that makes it pretty clear that what exactly is being expected. And if I look at the option, it says uh, option A, test implementation, option B, test design, option C, test execution, option D, test monitoring, option E, test analysis. You don't need me to tell you the answer now, but it's very, very simple that in implementation, we don't do anything about test design or writing test cases or writing test conditions. Same way executions, we just execute it, but we have nothing to do with the test techniques. And same, exactly same way, if we talk about monitoring, monitoring is a process of keeping an eye on the progress throughout the project, and it's not something particular to applying test techniques. We use test matrices instead here. So I think this makes it pretty simple. And uh, this, uh, whenever you see five options, okay, make sure that you particularly pick two right answers because you will have two or three questions which would have five options and you'll be asked to select two right answers. So here we have five options and the two right answers for this particular question are option B, that is test design, and option E, that is test analysis because test techniques are pretty much applicable to test conditions as well as test cases right so sometimes it just takes this much of effort to conclude that how exactly this would go into the right answer or in simple way as well execution monitoring and implementation are not the activities which needs the test techniques so even if you simplify it maybe just in a few seconds you could conclude the right answer that analysis and design are the only two phases where i can make use of the uh, test techniques or even if you remember the chapter name of four that is, it is about the test analysis and design techniques. Make sense? So let's move on to the next one. The next question we have is question number five. And question number five is again one of those match the following thing. But this time it is not about uh, the phases and the activities. It's more about the test wear and the following test activities. So I think uh, it's very straightforward. 
given the following test wear that is coverage items change request test execution schedule prioritize test condition and on the other side you have the test phases that is test analysis test design test implementation and completion so uh, which of the following best shows the tests were produced by the activities i think uh, this type of questions do not need any kind of justification because these are k1 and they are pretty much written in the uh, detail in the syllabus in my tutorials have been very well covered so you can just watch it uh, in the i button there and if in case you did not go through that so here we have discussed about the process we have discussed about the work products and we have told you what gets done in which particular phase so let's start uh, mapping them uh, if i talk about uh, say for example i don't know where exactly coverage items would go but say for example i'm sure about change request crs will generally come at the end that is test completion in the test completion phase we look forward to document anything which is not implemented as per the plan or there are open defects we document them and we also document the change requests which come newly from the business so all these things take place at the test completion phase makes sense let's go to next one and that next one says test execution schedule i think if you remember that's good if you don't remember uh, test execution schedule is a work product which is prepared in the test implementation phase okay test implementation phase is where you create the prioritization of the test cases to be executed in the right order and if i take the next one uh, that is like prioritize test condition and uh, test condition is an activity of test analysis of course the prioritization of test condition is also done in the same phase if you remember the activity said prioritized test condition creation in the test analysis phase so that goes to a so if i just quickly combine this here uh, i'm just left with the first one which easily goes to the coverage items now here the coverage item meant that how are you covering your requirements into test cases so it's going to test design so in simple mapping that is uh, coverage item goes to test design that is one goes to b two goes to d that is completion test execution schedule goes to c test implementation sorry a coverage request change request goes to test completion test execution schedule goes to test implementation and prioritize test condition goes to uh, test analysis so in that context put together the right answer to this particular question is a that is one goes to b two goes to d three goes to c and four goes to a so i think uh, it's more about the knowledge there's nothing it's like Generally, people quite often ask me that, do we have dumps for our SCQB? And I have just one straightforward answer. How can you have dumps for a concept-based certification? Because there's no end to define questions from a concept. And anything can be asked to you by any means, any ways. So again, I think I just want to pass on a message from this particular tutorial that do not expect a dump to come in the market for ISCQB. Even if you have something online available, you will find them, majority of them, out of syllabus. In fact, 2024 is the new year for this particular syllabus 4.0, and there's no dumps available. In fact, there's no dump concept for this certification. You need to have the knowledge and understanding of testing to crack those examinations. All right? So keeping that in mind, I think I would like to close this call here right now. So that's all from this particular video team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.